You know, they say fortune favors the prepared. In the 1940s, a few Pacific Island countries faced the real threat of being invaded by the Japanese army. And to prepare for this possible invasion, the gun battery sites were built. Last week, we took you to the Bilo gun battery site. This week, we show you Nasunimi. There are many striking similarities to the Mbilo gun battery site in Nansonini. Last week in Mbilo, we visited an underground bunker. In Nansonini, we took it a step further and went into an underground tunnel that led to the bunker. Now we're here in the tunnels here in Nasunini and we're just taking a look um, around the tunnels and this I was told uh, is one of the bunkers where the soldiers would uh, probably uh, hide in case uh, the worst case scenario would happen. Now uh, walking through the tunnels you can't help but marvel at the sophistication of the tunnel system here and how they built it back then. Uh, now as we mentioned earlier the threat back then was very very real. So that's why this site was built and uh, the tunnel is probably around, um, I don't know, maybe 50 meters from end to end and we just came up from the top entrance uh, to come down here to the tunnel and access the tunnel right now. So it's very, very dark inside here, uh, but yeah, you just can't help but marvel at how they built this place back in the 1940s. While we enjoy the freedom and comforts of the present day, one must not forget that the threat was real back in the 1940s as Japan planned for an invasion in the Pacific. It was a threat that could not be ignored, so the gun battery sites were built, strategically placed to protect Suva City if the threat ever materialized. The battery gun sites all around the country are a reminder of a darker time and the importance of preparation in the face of adversity. <laughs>